2015, HKXL taught over a thousand students from all seven continents. Each student improved by, on average, 1.98 level in each subject. Now I'm your host, Ryan Reagan. It's Ryan Reagan from HKXL. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between average math students and the best math students. If you're the kind of student who are on level 5 or level 6 right now in math, and you want to know how to get to a level 7, this video is for you. Okay. So, um, you know, in every math test, there are, there are some a few very difficult questions that 90% of the students can't solve, right? You know, I'm talking about in every math test, there are some questions that you just can't solve. And, but if you want to get a level 7, you need to be able to solve those questions. It is those questions that set apart the best math students from the average math students. If you want to get a level 7, you must solve the most difficult questions in a math test. Okay. Uh, so today, I want to talk to you about the secret and the formula of how you can equip yourself to become such a good math student that you could solve the difficult questions in the math test. Okay. I used to be a very poor math student when I was in grade 9, bottom of the class. But by the time I graduated, I became one of the best math and science students in my class. And I want to tell you exactly how I did that and um, how you could do that as well. So when I was in grade 10, actually, I read a book that changed my life. It's Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. And in one of the chapters, um, the author tries to explain the reason why uh, Asian math students tend to perform so much better than um, American or European students in standardized math tests. And the answer they came up with was very simple, and it lies in the culture, cultural difference between Asian students and European students. And the cultural difference is that Chinese or Asian people, they're used to uh, tackling, being persistent when it comes to solving a problem. It's, de it's de deeply ingrained in our culture that um, we need to work hard, we need to do something over and over again until we achieve the results, right? And um, psychologists actually proved this point, and they, what they discovered was that math, uh, Chinese math students, when they see a question they can't solve, when they see a question they get stuck with, they will stick to, they will try to solve it using different approaches. They can spend 15 minutes just trying to solve that problem. But for European or American students, they give up after one minute. And psychologists actually point out that when you struggle on a math problem, when you try to tackle a problem you can't initially solve and you eventually by yourself you come up with the answer that's the best learning that you can ever have you can possibly have because when you do that actually um, when you solve a problem by yourself um, you don't forget about it okay um, but if you if the teacher just tells you the answer it, it, your understanding is much more shallow okay so what I suggest for you is that if you want to be the kind of student who can score level 7 in math who can solve the hard questions next time you solve a, you see a difficult question what you should do is you should try to tackle it you, sh you shouldn't give up like right you should spend at least half an hour trying to figure out the answer just think from different angles right until and when you solve the question you you would get you you would start love you start to love solving problems because you, you get a lot of satisfaction from it when you solve it on your own. And actually, for me, when I was doing math higher level, I, for one question, I can spend well over an hour. Like sometimes, because I was solving some math problems, I couldn't fall asleep, right? Because I just wanted to get the answer, right? So I hope this video is useful for you, and hopefully, by using what I told you today, you can uh, achieve much better 